Well, it's that time. I'm going to um, wash the trailer. I try and wash it at least every month, three weeks every month. We use it quite a bit. We use it year round, and so we don't cover it. So I want to make sure it's protected. And then probably every six months or a little more, I like to get it all waxed up. So let's move in here where I can show you some of the things I use. So to wash it, I use the Meguiar's Carnuba Wash and Wax. If there's any black streaks, I just use a black streak remover. Um, I use a scrub brush here. It's made for automotive. I use it for washing my pickup too. I mix the soap in the bucket here and I just dip my brush in and then um, brush down the trailer and then rinse it off. But uh, I bought this a while ago, this foam cannon. I've used it before. It's okay. It, I tried spraying the trailer with the foam cannon and then no brush and then just use the pressure washer with a fine tip. You don't want to go real coarse because it'll ruin your siding and break down the wax on your trailer. Um, so I'd use it at a distance to rinse the trailer down. But I noticed it wasn't getting all the dirt off unless I use a brush. So sometimes I'll use a foam cannon and then use a brush over the foam and then rinse it off. So when I get the trailer all done washing it, I'll wipe it down, dry it, and then go into wax here. I used to use a Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax, which worked pretty well. Then I tried the 3M Marine Performance Wax, which worked really well. I'm happy with 3M products, but they don't sell it anymore. And so I contacted 3M and they recommended using the this 3M boat wax, but it can be used on RVs and other things too. So, um, so I apply it with this. It's a liquid where these are paste, and I'll and I'll just rub it on the trailer, and then I'll wipe it down with the microfiber, and then I'll go over it with my um, buffer, my oscillating orbital buffer. So um, it's going to take a little bit. So I think today I might just be washing the trailer and I might start waxing it. And then uh, I'll, uh, might take a couple days to wax it. So. so if you don't have a pressure washer and a foam cannon, this works fine. But this looks really cool when you do it. So you'll see. I want to show you something here. Um, here's kind of a black streak, but since I keep the trailer nice and waxed and clean, um, I don't really need to use this in all the locations because right here, watch this. I can just rub my finger on it and it cleans off. Let's go over here. Here's another black streak. Just wipe it off. Then we'll go over here. Let's see, go here, pretty much wipes off. So with soap, I can get that. But some areas like back, I'll show you over here. Like sometimes there's a streak here near the camera, which there isn't. Then I'll spray it around that and then spray it on and then I'll wash the trailer and then rinse the black streak remover off. It looks like uh, I don't have a lot of streaks this time, but if you need to get rid of streaks, use some type of black streak remover. So for this foam cannon, I just use my regular soap, pour it inside here. I dilute it a little bit, so maybe it's one part uh, water and three parts soap. And uh, you'll see it puts out plenty of uh, foam. It doesn't it doesn't take much it goes a long way so let's get going i got distracted here there's a baby fawn here see it it's hiding it's 
cute. So it's right across the street from me. The trailer's right over here. And the mom's over here. It's funny, the mom told it to hide when I came over here. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how I do one side. I'm not going to show you the whole trailer. So you have a good idea of how this works. sealed the awning um, where I put the UV protection on it where I put those covers on it explains how I made them so that's how it is I'm going to go around the whole trailer and get it all uh, washed off but it goes pretty fast that way you have a choice you can do it with the bucket or this uh, foam blaster so I go either way it works both ways I got the trailer all dried off and washed. Um, looks very clean. No water spots. So that's always nice. So I got it all done. And then tomorrow I'm just going to go ahead and, and wax it. So I'll get it all waxed up. But it looks real clean. And uh, I'm real happy with it. Well, I ended up waiting till the next day uh, to wax. I had so many other things to do around the house, so today is wax day. I think I, I'm gonna uh, just do a videotape of me doing the lower portion of the door. I don't wanna bore you with doing the whole trailer here. Um, so I'll show you how I do it. So I got the wax, like I explained earlier. And uh, it's a boat wax, but it's used on uh, RVs and other things too, so I'm gonna use it. You know, fiberglass and paint and stuff, so I might even use it on my pickup truck sometime. I got my applicator, and I have a terry cloth. I got some nice terry cloths coming, so in the description below, after I get my um, other terry cloths, the nice ones, um, I'll put a link to uh, where you can buy those. And then my buffer. So first, I'm going to apply the wax here, rub it in with that. Then it says um, you wipe it off with terry cloth and then the, this here, the buffer, uh, you buff it out. So you don't have to apply it with a buffer. You could if you wanted, but since my finish is so nice, um, I don't need to uh, get aggressive with it and do pre-cleaners before this or anything. Um, or be real aggressive with the buffer. 
So I'm gonna go this route. It says to do two by two areas. Well, I'm gonna do here to here so you could see me do it. It's a larger than two by two. And I always like pushing the limits. So uh, I'm gonna get started here. Here we go. This is my first time using this uh, wax. So bear with me. I'm just gonna put a little bit on here and see what happens. I'm gonna work it in. I'm just gonna go from the window down. Just so you know, I usually start at the top of a trailer or a car and uh, work my way down. Um, but I just want to do the door here so you, I could have the camera on it and you could see it better. I do see a f just a few water spots here. So we'll see if they come out. I'm still getting used to how much to put on here. And you can go right over the decals with this also. So it won't ruin them, it protects them. So it doesn't hurt anything. You just wanna make sure you get in the cracks when you clean it up, wipe it down that you get all the, the wax out of those cracks. The way this is going, it probably will take for this, uh, I don't know, I'll probably end up using almost all of it, possibly half of it. So we'll see how long. I usually use the paste wax, but uh, this will be my first time using more of a liquid wax, which I'm not used to. Maybe it's because I grew up with the the other type of wax, the paste wax used to be the best. Now they're getting uh, more and more creative with the other types of waxes. So so it says don't, don't uh, leave it on here to dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping it off. You don't want it to dry. Oh, wow, I really noticed a difference. Looking at the uh, decal, I can see it's a lot shinier. Wow. And it, I didn't think it was very um, dirty or not waxed before. I'm just going to wipe it down and then I'm going to buff it out.
Okay, that is a lot better. Wow, I'm pretty excited. Look at me, I'm excited. Let me get a, uh, you in here to take a closer look so you can see what it looks like. Okay, I sure hope I can capture this on uh, <clears throat> video so you can see the difference. So I've done from here down, like you saw, I'm gonna go over here to this little red area here and show you the difference between that and this. And then I'm gonna show you this black area that I didn't do to this black area here, or maybe I'll do this black area and then show you this where I did it. And hopefully it shows up on video what uh, the difference is. So here, what it looks like, not waxed. Gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this. And then here it is, wax. It's so much shinier. You can see the gloss in this. And then here's the black, not, oh, I no, I've done this one already, sorry. And then you look up here, see how dull it is? And then you come down here and it's glossy. What a difference. So maybe once I get a little more done, you'll be able to see more of the gloss of what it looks like before and after. I know it's a big difference. Let's go back to this area. Here's where it's done, like that. And then here's where it's not done, same color. Not near as much gloss. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna finish the door up and then uh, probably start in the front and work my way back. worked and outperformed any wax that I've used so far so in the description below I'm going to make sure that I uh, just put this wax in, uh, in a link below where you can buy it um, instead of using that other stuff I'm not going to use that other stuff again I really like this stuff it's like a, a pasty wax um, goes on easy and comes off easy it polishes up really nice or the old style paste wax was a pain to get off, but it worked, but not near as glossy as this wax. So I'm gonna show you, I hope this shows up here. This is done, this side here, you can see the shine to it. Here's the back, you can't really see. You can see how shiny it is here. I'm trying to get it so it's shiny, but it's not shiny like the side here. So that's a big difference. The decals are shiny and then I did it on the plastic here worked great as you saw I ran the buffer across the glass I've done that before when I wax my cars I do my wax on the sides and buff it out and then I use the residual wax that's on the buffer on the windows another thing that worked good here is a metal trim around here, polished it up really nice with that wax. You can see here, it was all dull before. And I even got the arms here for the awning, nice and shiny all over again. And you can see here, you might be able to see the difference. 
It's a little shinier than this. It's This is really dull and this is shiny. So this whole side here took me um, 59 minutes to do. So I'm gonna go around to the other side and it'll take me probably a little longer and maybe an hour and 15 minutes because I have the slide over there. And then to do the front and back, it'll probably be another maybe 45 minutes. So th this whole thing might take three hours to do. I'm at the front of the trailer here and I've just waxed here to right here. And you might be able to see how it's kind of discolored. Over here, it's oxidized a little bit. I gotta start waxing up here towards the top more in the front of this trailer more. By doing that too, it also helps um, keep bugs from sticking to the front. So it's, it's pretty, pretty oxidized here, but this uh, wax is bringing it back. I want to show you something here. Here's a rubber wiper that goes on the slide when the slide goes in and out. And then when the slide is in, if it's in for a little while, it might leave a little rubber mark like that. And before I've used the, uh, the black streak remover on it, but I found that if I just do this uh, wax on here, watch this. takes it right off and I've noticed it going around it's actually cleaning things I just washed this trailer um, the other day yesterday in fact <laughs> and uh, there's a little bit of road tar on it and it's been taking it right off so just thought I'd point that out to you I can see it. I also used the wax on this map here on the side and it was looking pretty faded and stuff. It looks like brand new now. I'm really surprised. So I'm glad I got that wax. On this project, it only took one third of this container or less and this is a quart size, so I could do this trailer three times or maybe a little more. And uh, the trailer body is roughly 23 feet, 23, 24 feet, and it's eight feet wide. I'm all done. Took me around three hours to wax this whole thing. Turned out real well. Very happy with it. So I'm glad I, uh, I did it. It was due. I think I, I waited eight months. I try and do it more often than that. Um, so I even did the bumper. It turned out nice and shiny. Cleaned right up. So I'm going to use this stuff on my car and my truck. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope uh, you learned something from this. Um, feel free to leave uh, any comments you want about anything I shared with you guys. Or if you have any uh, tips for me, feel free to uh, share them down below. I try and get back to people as soon as possible with uh, if they have questions or comments. And also... Um, if you like this video and want to see more, just hit the subscribe button and then the bell icon, and it'll alert you of future videos that I come out with. So the first one I did for this cleaning series was I did the, the roof, and then I did the awning, and then I did the siding. So in the description below, I'll uh, put links to to all of them um, in the in the uh, description below and also uh, links to the products I used. So um, feel free to use whatever products you want. Just uh, 
the best thing to do is make sure you maintain your your trailer and it'll last a long time or your motor home it's worth it uh, i found that if you keep it waxed it washes real easy bugs wash off of it dirt stuff like that dust and uh it'll help save your siding and make your trailer last a long time thanks for watching everybody and happy camping